Don't let yourself get hacked. I'm talking to you. Don't let yourself get hacked. Don't let this happen. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karen Carr with the Georgia Coast Homes team here at Keller Williams in Savannah, Georgia. Wire fraud is a very, very real thing these days. And we need to talk about this so that you know how to protect yourself. So when I talk about wire fraud, what am I saying? When you buy a house or if you sell a house, typically when large chunks of money are changing hand at the end of the transaction, they do it through a wire transfer. Most people don't just write a check or get a cashier's check for twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. Instead, they go to their bank and they do a wire transfer because it seems like it would be more secure, right? You would think so, but with cyber fraud and hackers out there, it is actually much easier than you would think for somebody to hack into your email and swap out the account information. So here's how it happens. Your real estate agent sends you an email saying, all right, we're all set for the closing on Thursday. You need to wire your down payment to our closing attorney's office. Here are the wire instructions. This is the account, this is the routing number, and this is how much you're sending. You receive this email and you think that it's from your real estate agent, but actually it's been hacked. Somebody is able to intercept the email, change the account number, change the routing number, and then send it to you on its merry way. And when you receive it, you have no idea that all of those numbers have been changed. You take your life savings and you wire it to what you think is your closing attorney to buy your dream house. And guess what? You've just wired it to some bad guy's account in the Cayman Islands. When that happens, a very small percentage of time, are you able to actually get that money back? Most of the time it's gone forever. So how do you prevent this from happening? Number one, never, ever, ever, ever accept wire instructions in an email unless it came through a secure portal from the closing attorney's office or from the lender's office. Do not just accept an email that has wire instructions in the body of the email. Number two, if you do receive anything in an email that says it has anything to do with wire instructions, your first order of business is to pick up the phone and call the sender. If it came from your closing attorney's office, you're going to call them and say, hey, I just received an email giving me the wire instructions where I should send my down payment. I just want to confirm that this is in fact the number and this is in fact the routing number. Your closing attorney's office will be happy to give you that information over the phone and tell you whether or not that is legit or whether that was a bogus email. If your real estate agent has the closing instructions, they might take a picture of it and text it to you, but even that makes me nervous. Anything that you send wirelessly has the potential to get hacked. So whenever you receive wire instructions, no matter who they came from or what method of transmission they arrived at, pick up the phone and call the person that sent it. After you receive it, make sure it's legit. There is, I can't imagine anything worse than taking a huge sum of money and wiring it and have us just say, sorry, it's gone. You've got questions, we've got answers, and I know you've got plenty of them, so watch this video next.